York is a laboratory for studying the civic buildings of the Middle Ages. For several years now, we've been studying the guild halls of the city of York. In order to understand these buildings, we really need to use architectural history, but also our archival skills of paleography, Latin and transcription in the archives. An interdisciplinary graduate entering the job market offers to their employer a very distinct range of increasingly scarce skills and for themselves the opportunity to respond to a wide range of challenges encountered in the workplace. The Centre for Medieval Studies is one of the leading centres for medieval studies in the world and brings together experts from the departments of archaeology, English, history and the history of art. We'll really encourage you to develop key skills in a new discipline like archaeology and then gradually build up your confidence working with other disciplines so that you yourself can do really exciting interdisciplinary research. Heliography is the study of old handwriting. My research assistant Estelle Stubbs and I were looking at the idiosyncrasies in some of the earliest manuscripts of Chaucer and his contemporaries. The chief clerks at the London Guildhall seem to have been involved in disseminating the earliest copies of Middle English literature. Why should this matter? Because this is just the time around 1400 when the English are starting to use their own language, English, not only for literature but also for business and government. Bringing together scholarship in history and literature enabled us to explode the paradigm that scribes would only be responsible for copying literary texts or legal documents. Through reading groups and classes, our students are developing their skills in languages from Latin and Old French to Middle English and Middle Welsh. The Latin and Paleography that I studied during my Masters here in York are integral to my current research. The charters that I'm looking at are primarily not in printed editions, and so I've needed the Paleography to actually read the sources themselves, and then the Latin to translate and understand them. Interdisciplinary team teaching at the CMS is constantly stimulating because it's constantly challenging. I did my undergraduate degree in history at Cambridge and I wanted to come to York to do an interdisciplinary masters and focus not only on history but also art history and literature and archaeology. Our core course provides students with a way of thinking about texts as documents, drawing upon the skills and the thoughts of both historians and literary scholars. The other disciplines have really shown me that historical documents were created by somebody with a specific worldview and an audience in mind and certain intentions, just like a poem or a painting. The importance of government records in the National Archives has long been recognised, but the St Stephen's project is allowing us to investigate the building and maintenance of the chapel in a newly systematic way. We use a variety of data to create a vision of the space in the past. We're using historical documents to hand create a model in Cinema 4D. Then using paint fragments surviving in the British Museum collections, we're texturing the mesh. An amazing and unexploited body of material held in the National Archives in London reveals to us the rich life histories of the thousands of people who made their way from continental Europe to England in the later Middle Ages. The previous assumption was that the only people who found their way into England were merchants, clergy, nobles, that they went to live in the large towns of England. Now we know that many people of the status of agricultural labourers and artisans were also finding their way into the country and were spreading themselves out across the English countryside. Drawing on the disciplines of literature and history of art, we can begin to explore the cultural interactions between English people and the minorities in their midst. CMS is located at the heart of a, a great medieval city, which is the focus of many of our studies. This is an exceptional place to study medieval crafts. The medieval fabric of the city needs constant maintenance. Architecture, sculpture and stained glass are conserved using variations on medieval techniques. You'll never look at a European city in the same way again. You'll always want to ask questions about its form, its history, and the people who lived in it in the past. It's there, it's something that I can see and, and touch, literally. And 
It's all very well if you want to study things that are far away, but if you're wanting to actually get deep into the history, then being right there is really important, and I really enjoy it.